And no, there's not algae in the beer. The beer, the beer is unchanged. The algae is just part of the production process. It never touches the beer. This is not green beer. This relatively rudimentary setup is a hose connected to one of our fermenting beer tanks. The CO2 off the top of that beer basically runs through the hose, is captured in this balloon. This balloon then feeds CO2 into this compressor where it's compressed. It's blended there with oxygen at a specific dosage rate and is actually dosed through these two bioreactors full of microalgae um, a couple of times a day. Basically, the CO2 is then ingested by the microalgae that uses it to photosynthesize. That creates more algae, releases oxygen, and the world is a better place for it. For combating climate change, algae capture CO2 up to 400 times more efficiently than tree. You don't have branches, roots, um, all of these extra structures, it's just straight photosystems capturing carbon and turning it into biomass. So they're extremely efficient. They're, they're probably the best organism to trap carbon. The uh, grain left over from the brewing process, this currently goes out as cattle feed. It's a byproduct of the brewing process. What we're looking to do is add the algae to this as a feed supplement and that will reduce methane production in cattle. As an urban carbon sequestration and oxygen producing solution, it's mind blowing. We could knock down our whole site and plant trees and, they, and those trees, it would take years before they did the same amount of carbon sequestration and oxygen creation as those two bioreactors that we can, we can start them up within a week and they're creating oxygen. So the future, as I see, is going to be a whole range of algae producers that are going to take somebody's waste, whether it's CO2, nutrients from a sewage treatment plant or from, from food waste, taking those waste products and making a new product and this is going to create circular economies. Instead of us digging something up, making a product and then throwing it away, we circularize it and we're going to actually use our carbon effectively. And I think that's going to be the future where industries want to use recycled carbon, not fossil carbon.